What is the difference between BIOS and UEFI? What is up sa inyo mga caveman? CJ nga pala at sa channel na to, gumagawa ko ng tech-related videos. Let's do this! Oo oh, nga pala, before I begin, no, I made a video about BIOS and UEFI. No? So, to understand this video or the content of this video, panoorin nyo muna yung dalawang video na yun. Click or tap the card up there <laughs> sa upper right para mapanood nyo na or just click the link in the description down below. Okay, so guys, this video will going to be a pure comparison between BIOS and UEFI. Their interface, functionality, user friendliness, and etc. BIOS and UEFI ay ang firmware interface, meaning sila yung nagahandle ng task para mag-interpret sa pagitan ng operating system at firmware ng isang computer. Kumbaga sila yung namamagitan dyan sa dalawang yan. Okay, so ganito yan, guys. No? Sila ay sabihin na natin parang isang code. Tiny amount of code na nakalagay sa ROM or read-only memory that is soldered onto your motherboard. Ito ay tinatawag din or also known as firmware. Okay, so try to imagine guys, no, ang BIOS or UEFI, sila ang kumukonekta between the software and the hardware. No? Kung baga sila yung, 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 yung BIOS, sila yung nagiging glue, parang glue. No? Kasi sila yung, siya yung kumukonekta para sa software and sa hardware. So to start off, no? Kung maaalala nyo doon sa UEFI video ko, no, sinabi ko doon na ang BIOS ay meron lamang itong plain, boring interface that can only use your keyboard. While sa UEFI, it has a more user-friendly interface or meron siyang GUI kung tawagin or graphical user interface and can use both of your mouse and keyboard. And also guys, no, not to mention, has better functionality than your regular plain, boring BIOS. Isa pa sa major difference nila, no? This is one of the major difference, no? Uh, ang BIOS, ang kaya niya lang i-accommodate na data storage or data storage, yung mga, like, yung physical storage mo is about 2 terabytes or less than 2 terabytes of data. So, dito na nagsimulang pumasok ang Unified Extensible Firmware Interface or UEFI. Not only kaya mag-accommodate ng 2 or 5 data storage ang UEFI. Brace yourselves, guys, pero hanggang petabytes ay kakayanin nito. Imagine, no, from the old, plain, and simple BIOS, ang kaya niya lang hawakan or i-accommodate is up to 2 terabyte lang. Pero, nung nag-upgrade to UEFI, not only the interface changed, no, pero mas kakayanin na itong mag-handle up to petabytes of data storage, of data storage. Bukod sa mas mabilis mag-boot ang UEFI compared sa BIOS, tulad ng sinabi ko kanina, no, Sabihin na natin mas modern ang interface nito compared sa BIOS. Kasi nga, ang UEFI ay meron ng tinatawag na GUI or Graphical User Interface. Pero hindi naman sa binibilitel ko ang BIOS. Kasi te technically, without BIOS or Unified BIOS yung UEFI, well guys, walang mag-handle no, ng initial test or initial boot up pag open nyo ng system. Also, I forgot to mention, no, isa pang gawain ng BIOS or Unified BIOS, yung UEFI, is ang pag-power on self-test. Ito ay isang phase or step ng BIOS para i-identify ang mga components or hardware na connected onto your motherboard such as CPUs, GPUs, uh, storage, RAM, and other hardware. Then after niyang ma-check, no, lahat ng nakabit or installed hardware doon sa computer nyo, and if, without error, magpo-proceed ito sa paglo-locate or hahanapin ng BIOS mismo kung nasaan ang boot storage nyo. Or sabihin na natin boot drive, no? kung saan naka-install ang operating system nyo. Kung wala naman kayong operating system, hahanapin nito kung ano yung boot priority, kung baga kung ano yung number one boot priority no? na, na pinili nyo during BIOS setup. So, napakarami pa rin and napakalaki pa rin ang tulong ng BIOS kasi hindi na hindi mabubuhay ang isang computer pag walang BIOS walang magkokonekta ng hardware sa software and so that is it for the video guys no I hope may natutunan kayo give this video a thumbs up guys kung nagustuhan nyo and also share nyo para na rin sa iba subscribe kayo sa channel guys kasi napakarami pang tech related videos coming out very very soon nga pala guys click or tap the first video para mapanood nyo ang recent upload ko click or tap the second video naman para mapunta kayo sa playlist ng iba ko pang tech related videos once again my name is CJ and I'll see you guys next time.